Hey friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. This week we are talking about the concept of journey. Many people consider the evolution of their faith a journey. In the next few moments, I invite you to think about some of the high points that you have had along your own faith journey. Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 95 from the New Revised Standard Version. Listen now for God's word to us. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the height of the mountains are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and the dry land which his hands have formed. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the sheep of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Do not harden your hearts, as at Meribah, as on the day of Massah in the wilderness, when your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. For forty years I loathed that generation, and said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not regard my ways. Therefore in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest. Let us pray. O God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, Grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 11, verses 1 through 9 from the Common English Bible. Listen again. For God's word. All the Israelites gathered around David at Hebron. We're your own flesh and blood, they said. In the past, even when Saul ruled over us, you were the one who led Israel. The Lord your God told you, you will shepherd my people Israel, and you will become a leader over my people Israel. So all of Israel's elders came to the king at Hebron, and David made a covenant with them before the Lord. They anointed David to make him king over Israel, just as the Lord had promised through Samuel. Then David and all Israel marched to Jerusalem, that is, Jebus, where the Jebusites lived. The people who lived in Jebus told David, You'll never get in here. But David captured the mountain fortress of Zion, which became David's city. David had said, the first one to kill a Jebusite will become commander in chief. Joab, Zeruiah's son, was the first to attack and so became commander in chief. David occupied the fortress, so it was renamed David's city. He also built up the city on all sides, including its own foundations and the surrounding areas, while Joab restored the rest of the city. David grew increasingly powerful, and the Lord of heavenly forces 
was with him. Many times in the Old Testament, we see the Israelite people take over land that belongs to others because they think it is their God-given right. How have you seen this idea carried over into modern times? Our New Testament reading today comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verses 13 through 17, from the Common English Bible. Listen again for God's word. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they, and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, these are the ones who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Those clothed in the white robes in this vision are apparently the redeemed who made it through the great time of tribulation, a time of great suffering and hardship. What do you think that time looks like? Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O God, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers that surround us. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Friends, may your life, may your story and your faith journey lead others to put their hope in Christ as well. Go in peace and stay healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.